in this movie, we want to actually break this form. We want to break the default placeholders for QuizMaker and rearrange all these elements in a more custom layout, right? Because the idea is we want to move the choices that we see right here, and they're a little, little dark, a little hard to see, but we want to move each of those choices over the question holders that we inserted in the previous movie. Now we can do that when we're in slide view, and that's what we call breaking the form. So we're actually gonna leave that, that form-based functionality and really work in a more free form, custom uh, way. And we can do that one of two ways. We could select each of these boxes, each of these text boxes, right? So this kind of works like it would in PowerPoint. You just uh, select each of the text boxes, position your cursor on the outside, then you can move it around. But since we wanna make this global change, this global change where all of these text, text choices are actually moving over here to the right, we can work with the outside bounding box. So there's actually two boxes, right? There's the actual choice box, which you see right here. And if I move my cursor over this dashed box over here, you can see that we have this container image right here. So this is what's holding all three of those choices, or four, whatever choices I have. So I can actually grab this middle resize handle and then drag it over here to the right. And I'll line it up with my a graphics there and that's a quick way to even evenly align all of them at once without having to uh, move them over one by one either way works it's just this is a little bit faster now i am going to move this graphic over just a little bit just so it kind of uh, is fitting around my entire uh, choice boxes so i have the width over here and i have the uh, the width over here the left margin for it so now i can select each of these individually use my arrow keys and nudge them into place and this is what's really cool about QuizMaker. I think a lot of folks don't, don't know about this or don't use it. Now, real quick, I have my Skype and video conference uh, kind of uh, rearranged here. Um, I could do two things. If I wanted Skype in the middle, I can do a change picture, or I could just move these two in a different order. So I actually do want Skype here in the middle one, so I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to do a change picture. So I can do that, right-clicking the graphic, and then choosing Change Picture. And I want the Skype example here, the Skype image here. And then I'll select the top graphic. And you just need to move my cursor over the end of it. So I'm having a tough time selecting this one. So a couple things we can do here to grab it. There we go. I just move my cursor over the outside. Right click and then choose change picture. And this time I use the video conference. And that puts them in place. So I can continue nudging these up. Then I need to bring the Skype example down. Now, a couple things here. You see that the uh, the bounding box is actually giving me the scrolling, uh, uh, right, the scroll box, the scroll uh, bar right here. So I need to move this back up a little bit. Sometimes that happens, and because of that, I just need to nudge these back in place. It just means that essentially my bounding box has gone outside of my actual slide area. So when that happens, you're going to want to just move them down a little bit. Now everything's back to back in place. So this bounding box, if this exceeds the slide area you're actually going to uh, get that scrolling bar, uh, which means that you would have to scroll to view all the choices. We don't want that, of course, in this example. So that looks pretty good right here. What I'm gonna do now is just select my text box, just like I would, say, in PowerPoint, and resize this by dragging it over. And now that we're here, we'll go ahead and format our text. I'm gonna leave the default colors uh, for black for my choices, but I am going to change the text uh, heading question to a lighter color. So I just select the text white and let's bring this up to around 16 and probably go with extra bold and maybe go one more so there we go and if i needed to add a paragraph break i could do that as well so there's my question go down one more there's my uh, scenario my question and then my three choices Everything's looking good. In the next lesson, we'll actually create the feedback slides. We're going to need three specific uh, feedback slides, three separate feedback slides for each of our choices. So we're going to set that up in the next movie.